Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Zangi from contibuild.co.ke. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to identify critical and non-critical activities in Microsoft Project Schedule. So, let's get started by opening an existing project that I already have here. As you can see, we have a whole uh, project schedule for a fish pond project that involves des design preparation, laying of soil, planting, fencing, pond construction, and path intenting. So, as you can see, we already have our tax in place. We have the summary tax. We have a uh, resources are located we have the parentheses relationship already in place so the only thing that we want to the only information that we want to get from this schedule is what are the critical and the non-critical tax so by definition the critical tax or critical activities these are the activities that cannot be adjusted or uh, changed their start and finish times without affecting the overall project duration or the sp or resource allocation and requirements. So this means that if task 7 is critical, when you change its start or finish time, it is going to affect the overall project duration and the finish time for the whole project. Now, by definition also, a non-critical task is the one that if you adjust it by maybe altering the duration or the start or finish, with the application of lags and uh, lead times, this is not going to affect the overall project du duration and the critical path will remain the same. So, to see this, I will move to Gantt chart view and select the option for more views. And then I will choose detailed Gantt then I'll click on apply so when I click on apply this is what you will see on the right side we now have some tasks or activities with the a bar, a bar that is blue and some others that have a bar that is red. Now the ones represented in blue are the non-critical activities and the ones represented in red are the critical activities. And so the whole of that is going to show us the activities that are on the critical path. So like if you move your mouse over this you see activity number 25 and 26 27 following that line all those are critical activities so that's how to identify critical and non-critical activities using microsoft project I hope you've learned something. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and families. And if you like, you can uh, show your support by subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.